Hi, and welcome back to tutorial number 3A of our Reaper tutorial series. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to be uh, preparing a file to record and uh, we'll show you how you can save a model of a file, which is called a template, for uh, use afterwards. So you can make your own uh, template as well working as it is and save it as an empty file and uh, use that later on. Also, we're going to have a look at how you can do the same thing with one track because you can also save a track in its whole configuration with everything in it, what it needs as a template and um, this will make your life a little bit easier afterwards. So we're going to go to the session we have been working on lately and first of all we're going to clean that session. So we're going to take out everything which is in the edit window and for that we just press command A to uh, select all the clips. So the only things we have left now here are the markers which for which we have a marker window. We can do the same there. Command A to select all and just get rid of everything. So that goes pretty fast. Then we are going to leave the reverbs inside the FX return for now. Uh, maybe we are going to just delete the names of the tracks which are named because that is maybe not necessary and that's definitely not going to be the same for different sessions. Okay, so now we have a clean session again and um, we can uh, add a track at the moment to <coughs> which I'm going to do here with Command Shift N, and this is going to be our recording track. So for now, we only have one recording track, but I will show you how to fix this up later. And um, I'm going to collapse this track, which we could do with uh, Command Opt and right arrow. And um, right now we have this track available for recording. Okay, so what we're going to do now, I'm still using the same name as I used before, but we don't want that anymore because we want to save this first quite normally in tutorial three. So this is going to be my tut3 project for now no spaces only underscores and i think we can advance the days a little bit 18 i guess it is spot on so now we have our project file saved as a project and we have everything in, in it that we need we have uh, a Vox folder, a music folder, an Atmo folder, we have an FX folder, and we have a Foley folder. So basically we're all set and good to go. What we want to do now is save this as a template. And for that we're going to go to File, and go to the item Project Template, and we're going to save this project as a template. So as you can see, I already made some templates for me, which are in the Reaper plugin or the Reaper application support folder, which usually you don't need to go to, but automatically these things are stored there. So let's just call it my template, my template. And we're going to save that. So what's now happening if I close Reaper and I'm going to open it again, just normally like that. 
it will come up with an empty file, but I don't want to have any of this. But what I can do now is open a template, my template, and we will just get our template as we want to use it. What it does immediately now is it asks for a project name to save it under. I'm going to do that under a new folder here, which I'm going to call tutorial 3a. It's going to be created. I don't need to create a subdirectory for this project because that's what I just did. And I can give it the name my project 3, for instance. So let's just save this. Oh, it's fine. Uh, Jeroen, I have a question. Yes. Since we will record afterwards, is it possible to record FX into my recording? Pre FX? Is that That's possible? Absolutely possible, yeah. Uh, I am actually just coming to that subject because now we have our uh, folders organized. We know where we are going to store our project and it's uh, containing audio. We can have a look at a recording file, a recording track, better said. So for instance, if we are going to record vocals, we can just take this track and drag it into the vocal folder. If we want to record some, but let's say Foley's, I'll make this a little bit smaller. We can probably just drag this over here to Foley's. Oh, that doesn't work like that, but it works with Shift D. You can just duplicate a track. If you need more tracks here, you can just duplicate as many as you will in the end need. I just need one for the moment, so I'm going to, to delete these four again. Here we go. And if I now press the record button here, it means I am going to enable this track to record something. And as you can see, there is a change in the track control panel here happening, which is showing an in FX. So what happens when I click on this, I get my effects window back again. And for instance, I could go to Cocos and search for the limiter. Where was it again? Oh, it's under the JS. Well, maybe it's anyway. Yes, here we go. Easier like this. So we could put a limiter here and see that our incoming audio will not be distorted. I can put these on minus one and these on my, oh yeah, that's all fine like this. And uh, behind this little arrow like symbol for the input, this really means that the effect is applied before uh, the track is recorded. So the audio is coming into the track first goes into this effects unit and then it will be recorded. So on that level, nothing can happen with overloads or any peculiarities. What we would need now is to choose a device on which we are going to record. And this will be explained in, uh, by Thomas in a second. Uh, what I maybe could also uh, show you here 
is that we can make a template of the track. Like if we have this set up with our master limiter as input effect, and we have uh, on the output effect, we have our default effects, which is in this case um, an equalizer and the limiter with the same settings. Uh, we can actually save this as a track template. So we can go to the context menu, right click on the track, save it as a track template. And we could say this is a recording track template. So that would be another way of doing it. I showed you before how to duplicate the track. I can just delete this now for now and apply the method that we had been um, saving before. And insert a track via a template. We just right click on the folder track and can insert our recording track template here and we have everything set up. So thank you very much. That was it for now. Thomas is going to explain you in the next one how to use the audio device, how to attach it to your computer and how to get audio into Reaper. Goodbye.